Hello everybody, uh, today we're doing a quick follow-up to my previous CyberPower PC videos. Uh, this will be a follow-up about two and a half years after uh, purchase, and a lot of people still have questions as how it's running and all of that. Uh, so we're going to kind of go through that right now. Uh, so CyberPower PC, it's still running. I still have it running in the exact same case, the PV X Trooper case. Uh, I really do enjoy this case, uh, mainly because of uh, cooling options, two fans on the front, one fan on the, or I guess two fans on the top, one fan in the front, you get this big one on the side, plus the big clear uh, side panel, you got one more on the back. Uh, so let's open this computer up and start talking about uh, the components. Um, a lot has changed over the course of uh, two and a half years, mainly by my doing, uh, so we're going to kind of go through that right now. Uh, we are still running the same processor. Uh, the same processor is still running great. It's the 2600K by Intel, the 1155 socket. Uh, it's running good. I've never had a problem with it. I've overclocked it uh, for what you can. Uh, in my case, it's uh, up to 4.2 gigahertz, I believe. Uh, mainly because I don't have the unlocked version. You can only do so much. Um, the water cooler is the same water cooling that came with the CyberPower PC computer. It's the Asetic uh, water cooler. We'll zoom in on there. Uh, this problem, uh, I've never had a problem with it. The water cooler is working very well. You can see the radiators behind the fan here. Uh, now the motherboard uh, is something that has changed. That is my only part failure I've had in this computer. Um, I used to have an ASUS motherboard. Uh, but I swapped it out for an ASRock motherboard. Uh, this is the ASRock Z75 Pro 3 motherboard. Um, but again, a rather cheaper um, motherboard. I really do like ASRock, though. Uh, nothing against ASRock. They're a very good um, computer company. and They're really good motherboards for a really reasonable price. So I swapped out. I got the ASRock motherboard. That was my only hardware failure I've had with this computer. Um, again, I don't know for sure if that was actually a at fault of uh, CyberPower. I mean, it was almost a year and a half old. Electronics, things happen, uh, static, I it could have been anything, really. So I'm not blaming CyberPower uh, for that one. Uh, we did swap out the graphics card. Uh, I used to have a GTX 560 Ti. We swapped it out for the GTX 670 um, by EVGA. It's the NVIDIA uh, graphics card. Uh, the GTX 560 is still running in my friend's computer. Um, I'm going to overlay video with this if if I remember if I still have it or not. But um, it's running really well in his computer still. Uh, he's still playing uh, Battlefield 4, for example. It's still doing a, doing its job. So um, nothing at fault with the graphics card. I just decided to upgrade to a uh, better graphics card. Uh, power supply, I did chain from the uh, CyberPower PC computer. I used to have the Extreme Gear one, that's like the default one that comes with CyberPower PCs. Um, however, I would stay away from that if you can. I didn't have a problem with it. I sold it to a friend for a dollar, <laughs> just to make some money off it. But Extreme Gear, there I have been known to be a lot of issues with it. And uh, I changed it out when I got the new graphics card. I decided if I'm getting a new graphics card, I want to make sure it's getting uh, adequate power and not going to have any issues. So I upgraded to the Apivia to 680 watt power supply. Um, so it works really well for my uh, purposes. So if you are uh, interested in getting a CyberPower PC video, I would uh, get one, uh, choose one that's uh, either Cooler Master, I know they uh, believe they sell on CyberPower PC. I'd stay away from the default Extreme Gear ones. Uh, down here, I've had, actually up here, uh, this is the Seagate hard drive that came with the computer. It's still running fine. I've added a Western Digital Black Caviar hard drive to the mix to increase storage. I've also added a OCZ uh, solid state drive to the computer as well for the operating system uh, so I can get faster boot time, faster programs loading, etc. Uh, the optical drive is still the same and that's pretty much uh, in terms of the CyberPower PC, the main components. Uh, everything is running fine. I don't know if I uh, mentioned that RAM is still the same. Uh, that I've never had a problem with the same. Uh, this was also like kind of like the default uh, brand uh, RAM that was being sold CyberPower. Can't get it to focus, my apologies. But um, yeah, I mean, I've never had a problem with CyberPower PC. Uh, it's been running great for me. I know it has for others as well. 
uh, ignore the cable management and uh, the, some of the dust that's in here. I actually opened it up to clean. I got some compressed air to clean this computer out right now once I finish this video. Uh, but if you have any questions about CyberPower PC, uh, feel free to leave a comment or send me a message. I'll make sure to get back to you um, about anything really in terms of sales or anything like that. Uh, just let me know and I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, the new YouTube layout with Google Plus makes it difficult to reply to comments. I don't really know how to do that yet. I have to figure out how to do that. Um, but again, anything else uh, about this computer, I added some personal effects, some cathodes, a neon tube back here. I swapped out some of the old fans with these LED green fans. So um, overall, it's really become my personal computer. It's kind of adjusted from what was a CyberPower PC video into my personal computer. Um, a side note with that, um, this is the same Razer Black Widow Ultimate keyboard that came, I purchased it with the CyberPower PC and it's running great. I've had no problems with the keyboard. So um, if anyone was considering getting an extra keyboard from CyberPower PC, I've never had a problem with that as well. And you see we're still running uh, Windows 7. That's what came with the computer. Again, no problems whatsoever. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Subscribe for more videos and uh, we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.